This is the Yolocam S3, the AI-powered 4K live streaming camera. It promises a large sensor, AI adjustments, pro color grading, 4K quality, and ultra-fast autofocus. So I'm about to unbox, set up, and test how it performs. It's mainly designed for live selling, gaming, content creation, and podcast. All right, let's see what's inside the box. First, we've got the webcam itself. It's pretty compact and feels solid. It's got some weight and it definitely feels like metal. The front has a leathery texture look, though it's not leather. On the side of the lens is that knurled pattern, like it's for me to adjust focus. But no, it's fixed. There is also the magnetic mount for your monitor. Then there is the USB-A to USB-C cable and a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And of course, the product manual. That's it, nice and simple. Let's move on to setting it up in the next segment. Setup is super straightforward. Just plug the USB cable into the Yolocam S3 and connect it to my computer. My live streaming software OBS automatically recognized it as a webcam. Next is to mount it on my laptop monitor and adjust the angle to get the right framing. It also connects seamlessly with my favorite live streaming device, the Yolobox Extreme. Now it's part of my multi-camera, multi-platform live stream. What if I want to stream vertically on TikTok or Instagram? All I have to do is to rotate the camera. Quick and easy, isn't it? Oh, by the way, that's the YOLO Live in stream. Take a look at the link below. Continuing with the setup, you can also attach the magnetic holder via the quarter inch screw hole at the bottom to a standard tripod stand. You can get this same tripod through the link below. If you want a bit more control, it's got a software that lets you control focus, exposure, white balance, and more. You can even do color grading with their built-in tool they call the Picasso Resolve. I will show you the software in more detail later. You don't need it actually because the camera works very well right out of the box. In the next segment, I'm going to put a Yolocam S3 to the test. Now, let's find out if this AI-powered 4K webcam truly lives up to its promise. For this test, I will be comparing it with my favorite OpsBot Tiny 2. And I'll be recording both outputs side by side on the Yolobox Extreme so we can see the difference. First, it promises 4K resolution and a large sensor. So am I getting a sharper and more vibrant image? Judge for yourself and let me know in the comments. Do you notice the AI-powered image processing going on? Next, it promises high-speed autofocus. Well, it definitely locks on instantly when I hold up a product. I also love how it can maintain focus on subjects that are very close to the camera. And now, low light performance. Now, the Tiny 2 seems to be a little bit noisier. The large sensor helps it to capture more light and maintain sharpness in dim conditions. Bokeh effect. Check out that natural blur background behind me. All that is possible because of the lens, the sensor size, and the AI algorithm. In the next segment, we'll explore how to make it look even better. How to control a webcam setting like a DSLR camera. First, connect the Yolocam S3 via the USB cable to a computer. Next, go to the Yololive Compose software and select the camera. Now, we can fully customize the webcam settings. 
Next to the selection is a camera icon button for toggling the preview on and off. In the main menu, we have the image parameters, color grading, and saved settings. Let's explore image parameters. Inside graphics settings, we can switch orientation between 16x9 and 9x16. Of course, in vertical mode, we have to rotate the camera physically. For frame rate, I prefer to maximize it at 60Hz. Next, image settings. We have sharpness, contrast, and saturation. Then there is this lens shading correction, which makes the entire scene light up evenly. Next, under focus, we have three options. First, autofocus continuous, which means whenever I bring an object into the yellow box, the camera will focus on it continuously. Take the object away from the yellow box and it will switch focus immediately. Next is autofocus single. That means I can set the focus on a single distance and the focus will be fixed at that point. Then there is face focus which means it will keep focusing on my face. And if I want to show a product, the product has to cover my face. I prefer AFC because I do more of product reviews. Next, zoom. I can zoom in very close without any pixelation visible. I can set some hotkeys to activate the zoom. But this works only if I'm using the S3 with the computer. Exposure, we can set to manual mode and adjust the ISO and shutter speed, just like a DSLR. I don't mind auto exposure because it's doing a good job at it. Then we have the anti-flicker and EV settings. White balance, auto white balance is also doing a good job for me. But in manual mode, you can adjust to your heart's content. With these settings, I can tell that the Yolocam S3 is not designed for the casual webcam user. It's definitely for the professional streamer who demands more. Which brings us to the next setting, color grading. They call it Picasso Resolve, you know, like Da Vinci Resolve, which brings this webcam from a pro level quality to near broadcast standards. And the price! Below 200, it's a steal. Check out the link below to get yours today.